Like most everyone else, I found this past year of the pandemic to be a bit of a challenge. I struggled to stay motivated creatively, but at the same time, I discovered that I really was quite content to stay at home in my studio by myself. The limitations of the pandemic were good for my artwork. They suited me. The busyness of life slowed and created fewer interruptions. And in this quieter time, I turned to numerous online classes for inspiration to help stay motivated. I found classes online to study new techniques in watercolor, to learn to paint with gouache, and to learn the mechanics of how to create a graphic novel. I have been wanting to start working in gouache for some time. It's an opaque watercolor medium. <clears throat> a lot of artists use it when painting plein air because of its portability, fast drying time, and its versatility. I found several artists online who offered tutorials and lessons and got started with it. I found that I love working in gouache. While it's very much like watercolor, it imparts a different look and feel. It allows for more painterly mark making due to its opacity, but at the same time, I can use it along with transparent watercolor if desired. I love using it to paint the deep forest scenes. Learning how to create a graphic novel has been another desire of mine. We have so many fun stories about our family bus trip across the country in the early 60s that telling that story of our adventures in a graphic novel form seemed like a good fit. My goal is to complete it in time for our family art show at the North Carolina Arboretum the summer of 2022. Of course, learning the mechanics of creating a graphic novel was another challenge and involved lots of studying of work by other artists and more online classes. Using Procreate, I import my individual sketches and then combine them and work on them further on the computer. The program records my work in the background, so I'm able to share a sped up version of the process with you now. So here the sketches are that have been scanned and imported and then using a kind of cut and paste procedure, the characters are laid out onto the rough sketch. I then start developing the drawing further on the computer. Procreate allows me to make lots of changes as I go along. As you can see, I made several changes in this drawing before I had what I want. And this is the finished drawing. Watercolor is my first love and I always return to it. This year, I did lots of painting in watercolor, and in that process, embraced more and more the properties of what makes watercolor my favorite medium. <clears throat> the joy of watercolor is that it has a mind of its own. So while there are challenges in trying to control watercolor, the secret I found is really to embrace what the watercolor does naturally on the paper, to let the fluidity of watercolor paint the painting to let the paint do what it does best. So in a sense, to follow the watercolor. Here's a look at one of the ways that I work. I start by spraying the paper with droplets of water. Then I drop in various colors and let that all flow, tilting the paper at times to direct the paint. I start abstractly, but work towards more representational as I add detail in with more watercolor, and in this case, I also used dip pen with Chad's handmade walnut ink for foliage detail. While I do start with a composition in mind, there is an interplay between my idea and how the watercolor acts on the page. The watercolor suggests some of the things, and I fur further develop those with added detail. This is some of my new work. This was painted on a very damp surface, creating that misty quality of light. In this painting, I used super granulating watercolors. In the lower right hand corner, you see the effect of these special paints. Super granulating watercolors settle into the dips and valleys of the paper, creating interesting textures. I love the misty fog on the mountains, and I explore this theme in many of my paintings. 
I guess you could say this was the year of the tree for me. Lots of paintings of trees in mist. You paint what you love. I enjoy working with the handmade walnut ink. So the grasses in the foreground in this painting were, in, were an excuse to use the dip pen and ink again. These are more of my gouache paintings. And you can see how different they are from the transparent watercolor. This year, I was honored to be included in an article on Artists of the Parkway. That was in the October issue of Our State Magazine. As always, I have my new 2022 calendar available featuring some of my new paintings. I also have six new card images that I'm debuting for this event. We have a new batch of animal mugs just out of the kiln for the show. This is my collaborative work with David. I do the artwork and he uses a special firing process to attach them to his fabulous handmade mugs. You can find my work through VoorheesFamilyArt.com or at my Etsy store, janevoorheesart.etsy.com. Thank you.